faraway island of Treble Clef, there lived a small clarinet named Efer. He was one of the smallest musical instruments on the island. He was even smaller than all the other clarinets. Efer's high-pitched squeaks and tiny body made all the other instruments of Treble make fun of him. You're too small to make a difference! Why can't you ever stay in tune? Lighten up, boys. Come on, honey, it's not so hard. See, it's as easy as... Efer hated being yelled at, so he hung his head and spent most of his time hiding at home in his case. But while Efer was hiding, he would have magnificent dreams. He would be playing in Treble Club Castle. His sound would joyously echo off the staff into the halls of sound. Sadly, Efer would always wake up before he heard the sound of applause. Never in his life had he known the pride and excitement of hearing applause for his performance. One day, a letter arrived in Efer's mailbox. He was surprised to receive a letter. But Efer was even more surprised when he found out who it was from. Dear Efer, I have written a beautiful new piece for the Almighty Conductor. The tune is superb, the dynamics are brilliant, and the key is just right. I have only one problem. There is an E-flat clarinet solo, and you are the only Efer on the island. It would honor the conductor and me if you join the treble clef ensemble and play it for us with thanks, the composer. Efer could not believe his eyes. He was so excited that he nearly lost his screws and popped off his keys. He could finally get his chance. He would finally perform his dream. But oh, was Efer nervous. For weeks he practiced his solo until the notes smudged on the page. Why couldn't he get it? Why couldn't he just be a normal clarinet and not worry about staying in tune? Beaver was so distressed that he decided to visit his only friend, Pick the Piccolo. I'll never get it right. It'll be okay, Eifer dearest. Yes, the maker made us small, but we can make beautiful music with what we have. You just have to practice, believe in yourself, and play with the spirit we all know is inside you. Efer was still nervous, but Pick's advice convinced him to keep practicing. He thanked Pick. Thanks, Pick. And went back home. The day of the concert came, and Efer was scared to death.
He was shaking so much that he broke four reeds that he had to have in order to play. Luckily, he had one left. All the other instruments gave Efer curious glances as he walked through the halls of sound and took his place on the stage. Oh no, I'm not going to make it. He would never be able to hold his head up if he messed this up. But Efer remembered Pick's words of encouragement. You just have to practice, believe in yourself, and play with the spirit we all know is inside you. the feelings he had in response to the music, but somewhere inside him he felt a warm excitement begin to buzz. Eber was no longer scared when the conductor lifted his hand to start the solo. Efer played with glory. Every note rang true, and when the song was over, the audience flew to their feet with applause. The other instruments were shocked. Efer could only smile because his spirit had found his dream. Honey, I taught him everything he knows. Efer had triumphed.